Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing to this YouTube channel. Welcome once again. Here is a headline. Breaking news. Professor Banji Akintoye gives reason why the Yoruba nation has not received their independence from Nigeria yet. So before we dive into the details of this, you know, really amazing news, do not forget to like this video channel and for those who are just joining us for the first time thank you so much for joining us and please do not forget to subscribe click on the word button subscribe to get more of this exciting news in the future and also click on the notification bell, you know to get notified whenever we bring this kind of news so let's dive into the full details of what professor banji akinto he said he said from September 30th, if the Nigerian government is not able to negotiate with the Yoruba nation, then the countries of the world will say that since the people have presented their proposal to the Nigerian government, but they refuse to accept them, then the Yoruba people, they are a very peaceful people, decent people. Then they will tell the Yoruba people to come over to America and do a negotiation they will provide whatever is needed they'll pay for those coming for the negotiation their their flights bill their you know the hotels they will lodge in whatever they need they will pay for it so what professor banji akinto was trying to point out here was that he gave a story of the catalonians and how despite the fact that the referendum that they took was okay what went well the countries of the world did not recognize them as a government like as a country a nation so he's advising the Yorubas to become that work is being done on the ground he said that they need to have the support of some powerful countries so that when they want to leave nigeria the Nigerian government said that you are not going anywhere and then they want to send their armies the powerful countries they will send their own armies to help the urban nation fight but if nobody knows about this if nobody's supporting the ubers from leaving nigeria then we'll be on our own so this is the main reason why professor banja came to me said that the Yoruba should be calm he said, what happened to the Catalonians in Spain should not happen to us. That Yorubas are too civilized to be in a situation like that. So he said, for the next few weeks, from now to the, to the ending of September 30th, it will be for negotiation. And Yoruba, Yoruba is a favored group of people. That is what he said. He said, wherever they've always stepped to, Whatever country they went to and telling them that please and uh, we want to leave Nigeria. Those people love them. He said they've never been to a country and they are sent out. They've never been to a country and then they will be like, go, go, go away. What are you guys what are you, what are you talking about? No, they've never they've never encountered something like that. He said everywhere people say that they are a decent folk. Some said Yoruba was already a nation before the British came and crumpled them together into a country. That what the Yorubas are asking for now is what is already theirs. It was theirs before. They had a nation. The Oyo Empire, the, but they had a nation. Unity was among them progress they were working very fine you know the Yorubas are this group of people that are very intelligent so nothing was even their problem but then the british came and spoiled everything for them so professor banja kinto he said whatever they're acting for now is likely their own it's just that they are under a government that they just need to officially tell them that we are we are living now so he said the only thing is asking the Yorubas to do is 
for them to pray for those who are going from one country to another to negotiate. That God will go with them, that His favor will go with them, that they will find favor in the sight of those people they are going to meet. That whatever they talk, those people will answer them. That is what Yoruba should be praying for now. He mentioned the story of the Israelites. You know, the Israelites just gained independence some years ago, right? Okay. He said the Israelites, the reason why they have independence now is that they were assisted by many powerful countries of the world. And number one country is the country A, that's United States of America. Those people stood by them. When Israel said that they needed independence, it was American and other powerful countries that helped them out. So this is this is what the Yorubas need. That is what Professor Banja Kitui said in his words. This is we need that support. We need an international recognition. We can't just leave Nigeria and you know nobody recognizes us now. No. We need to be recognized internationally. And this can only be done when powerful countries of the world knows about our separation from Nigeria. So, let's look at the comments of people towards what Professor Banji Akinto said. Funke said, God bless you, Daddy. I pray God will continue to bless you with good health. Those who are moving from place to place to make your urban nation a reality will be protected by the Almighty God. They will all come back with good results, and we shall all jubilate in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Frank Bolamiwa said, The message from Professor Akinto here is a very courageous and overwhelmed one. Up Yoruba Nation. Abimbola Bami, Bamiwa said, Every step taken to advance the course of Yoruba Nation shall be favored in Jesus' name. Amen to that. Someone said, thank you so much, Papa. May you live long in good health and your nation will come to pass in your presence by the special grace of God Almighty. Amen. Musa Bakawe said, Almighty Allah, we assist those that stand for your nation. We will make them find favor in Jesus' name. Amen. Musa Bakawe said, I am happy to hear this hopeful message from our leader. Pa Professor Banji Akintoye. Godwin Ume said, Professor, thanks so much. You've opened my eyes. I am better informed. I am of the opinion that the international communities are the problems, problems of the oppressed people within the country that wants to opt out of the country due to injustice melted to them. They know of these things, yet they turn blind eyes. Is it a, it is, wickedness what is the answer of the reunion of the union if it's not to keep the world at peace so god who may think that the united nations know that some people are suffering in some countries especially in nigeria but they've turned a blind eye to it and that is not good what is the use of the united nations no the united nations co combined of comprises of all the countries most countries of the world so and the main objective of the united nation is to ensure world peace and it was created after the world war one so so this person is saying those united nations they know about our sufferings but they kept quiet what is your take on this? What do you feel about what Professor Banja Kintori says? For the Yorubas, they are really very excited about this. You know, they have been seen, they have been anxious about what is really happening. But now, he has put their mind at ease. What is your think? What is your thought about this? What is your take? What do you feel? Let me hear this in the comment section. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for listening. God bless.